Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we have a build for you. So, um, if you watched the cottage core cast video, we did that. We made our little cottage core cutie. And so today we're going to be making her house. Although I already made her house. So today we're going to be watching me make my house watching me make her house and watching um or i'm gonna go in and give you a little tour so if we just hop into the time lapse here we go i'm starting to build it this took me a long time to build i don't know i just building i've said this before i'm not a good builder i think building is probably my um weakest skill in the sims I'm more into creating The Sims and making their stories and then gameplay and stuff. I do need to get better um, with building, but I did try my best. Oops, sorry, that's my phone. Um, I tried my best and I tried to look up like cottages and cottage core things. I'm not an expert in the aesthetic. I don't claim to be, um, but I do like the aesthetic. I like all the aesthetics, to be honest. Um, but yeah, so I tried to build a cute little cottage, but it was tough. You know, when you're building and you're kind of like, I'm tired of building. <laughs> that sounds so bad, but like, You've just been building it and like looking at it for so long and you're like, I don't know if I love or hate it. I really can't tell. I've I've just been doing this for too long. That's kind of the place I got to. I don't know. So I definitely think that there are places I could improve on, but um, overall I think I am happy with it, especially the outside. I think the outside I like better than the inside. The inside I was having trouble with the layout of it you'll see like she doesn't have a proper living room <laughs> i don't know um but yeah i don't know i like the outside i think it's cute i think i could have added more foliage but oh well but anyways today i have a coffee which is probably very irresponsible seeing as though it's 10 o'clock at night and that's on self-destructive behaviors mm. no I mean I just wanted coffee so I made some you know but I'm the type of person that like I don't know coffee doesn't ever make me jittery or it doesn't really affect me in a negative way at least like it doesn't make me like jittery and in the morning I feel like I can't really tell like I don't feel when coffee hits me does that make sense like some people they're so sluggish until they have coffee and then they feel awake but for me I don't know I don't if I don't have coffee I'll get a headache but I won't feel super tired you know what I mean um but if I have coffee in the afternoon or at night I'm just not sleeping <laughs> that night like I just oh sorry sometimes you'll see gaps <laughs> you'll see gaps when i'm building and that just means i went pee <laughs> anyways um so yeah so i've kind of just accepted the fact that i'm not gonna eat today or eat i'm not gonna sleep today um i really like the fireplace i like i wanted to put it in the position that the chimney was at to be realistic i don't know but it kind of made the layout difficult because there's like the front door and then the fireplace and it's nothing is centered so i didn't know how to do the living room you'll see i struggle a lot um but anyways so yeah so i have my coffee i put some so how i take my coffee is i don't sweeten it i'll just put in some oat milk i can't have my coffee black like if i had to choose one thing i would choose milk over sweetness um because I do, because I don't sweeten my coffee, but um, today I put in a protein drink because if you um, watched some of my past videos, I got my wisdom teeth removed and I'm still really not able to have solid food. I had such a hard time doing <laughs> terrain. Um, I'm not quite ready to have solid, solid food, so I've been drinking protein drinks to, you know, get enough protein in the day. And I didn't have one today, so I put it in there, and it's sweetened. 
so I really like my coffee today. All that to say, I really like my coffee today. Um, but yeah, this is, let me think, so I'm filming this before I film my um, Big Brother Challenge, but my Big Brother Challenge is going to be my first video of 2021. So technically, this is the first thing I'm filming for 2021, but it's going to be my second video of 2021. <laughs> but how are you guys doing? I'm, I've never been fond of the new year, the holiday, but I feel like this year is different because <laughs> we're all just ready to say sayonara to 2020. But um, yeah, I wanted to film a couple videos so that I'm ready to post. What am I doing here? Honestly, when we go in and do the tour thingy, I'm probably going to change some stuff. Because I don't know. I don't know if I'm fully happy with it. But I, but I think it's a, like I think it's good enough. <laughs> That's my uh, quality check, I guess. Good enough. I was just having trouble with the swatches. I don't know. I guess I just don't know what cottage core is. Here I'm trying to pick the green. You know that green that is so popular right now, that like emerald, the deep emerald green? I think that's in the that's the direction I wanted to go in because I think one of my inspiration pictures had that deep green and I thought that that would be pretty, but they just didn't have the right color. You know what green I'm talking about? That really popular green. I, I like it. I like that that color green, but yeah. Also, I changed the swatch of the bed and make it this green. Like, I'm trying to go with the green. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I think I change it back. I hope I change it back, but... <laughs> I was just struggling. I do like this bed, though. My grandma had that same bed. Like, I feel like that's such a grandma bed. But I remember she had, like, the four-poster bed thing. But anyways. Mmm. I also filmed this over the course of a couple of days and it took me a long time, like I said, but um, I think I might change out that door actually. Sorry, now I'm just thinking aloud. Oh yeah, I changed also the swatches of the um, window shutters because I just thought it was too dark. Like I feel like cottagecore, the, the um, swatches I have now, I feel like are good. Like the yellow and light brown, I thought the dark brown was too much. I feel like white and dark brown is more Tudor color. I was about to say college. Sometimes I think my brain is broken. <laughs> um, I feel like white and dark brown are more Tudor cottage, whereas this is more like fairy tale cottage, which is what we're more going for. I also tried to put a lot of clutter around and more and a lot of like artsy stuff. Artsy fartsy stuff. I also went in debug um, off camera and chose a couple of things that I liked to go in and you'll see that later. I'll just have like a pile. Did I go pee again? It looks like it. <laughs> I definitely could cut those out, but I'm just, I go pee so often and I'm like, I'd have to go through everything, you know? But anyways, overall, I think I'm happy enough with the layout. You know what? Maybe I should have chosen a smaller table. I don't know because she doesn't really have a desk now does she although I I refrained from putting in a lot of technology just because I didn't think it fit like I feel like cottagecore aesthetic you would be painting or reading or gardening or something whimsical like that and I feel like a tv <laughs> do you see my pile of debug stuff <laughs> I'm like now putting it in um but yeah, I don't think technology really fit in that. Like, I feel like seeing a flat screen TV in a cottagecore cottage <laughs> just doesn't look right, does it? Here I'm trying to place all these debugs. I put milk in the fridge. Did you see that? <laughs> a little thing of milk. Um, but sometimes like trying to alt place things is kind of difficult. But I tried my best and I think I, I realized I didn't put in cupboards but she has um those little shelves couldn't think of the word shelves but that's cute but now you know what i am really proud of myself because i put in a lot of clutter and i normally if you've watched my other videos you know that clutter is not my strong suit 
because I get antsy to be done and so I just don't put in enough clutter but no I did try look at that I'm putting in so much clutter and you'll see more when we go into the build but I could totally see her just like drinking her tea and looking at her little I don't know what maybe a, a, a like a botany book what is it called when it's like gardening a horticulture book or something about different herbs herbal remedies Let's be real, I feel like cottage core aesthetic is also like a like a green witch aesthetic. <laughs> oh yeah, so I changed back the swatch of the bed, thank goodness, because I really was not feeling that green and yellow. I also like her bathroom. I okay, some people don't like that tub, but I really like that tub. I think it's so cute. Like the curtain tubs. I don't know, I just really like those. Well, because they're, like, whimsical, you know? See, what did I say about the Green Witch? I put in those, um, Realm of Magic poster thingies. Or art. See, I'm kind of forgetting all that I did, so I'm, like, watching it back and it's refreshing my memory. I love the little rocking chair. I think that really fits. I could not, for the life of me, figure out the curtain situation. Like... I went for these white ones eventually, but the curtain, that was hard. I feel like everything that comes out of my mouth, I'm like, that was difficult. I don't, I'm not good at that. Da -da -da. <laughs> Is there anything I am good at? <laughs> oh, oh, okay. So I'm almost done with um, building. I don't want to run out of time. <laughs> so let's jump in to the tour of the build. Okay, here we are in the little cottage i think it's really cute i had trouble or not trouble but like i had to think about where i wanted to place this house and i ended up putting it in brindleton bay in this lot because i felt like it was absolutely perfect like she has the forest and then she has this little green pasture kind of area um and she's close enough to the ocean i just thought it was a really cute and perfect place for it and it even looks really nice just nestled in the trees right there if we go into tab mode i'll give you a little tour i'll try not to be too quick with my motions because sometimes when i watch people do tab mode it makes me sick <laughs> it gives me motion sickness to be fair though i'm very very sensitive to motion sickness like sometimes a 10 minute car ride will make me motion sick but anyway <laughs> that's enough about me we have this cute little entryway and I got the bunny, the candles, and the package from Debug. And then we have this cute little thing. I think that um, this thing is absolutely perfect. Then we walk in here. You'll see that like she doesn't really have a proper living room, if you know what I mean. But I actually, looking at it from this angle, I kind of like it. Like she has a little rocking chair, a little comfy chair, and then she has a pile of books and a nice fireplace i really like this item from laundry day um and then you know just some clutter then we have the dining room and the kitchen very cute i really love this item from realm of magic and this item actually i like both of those items if we go this way we have the bathroom very cute very cute. <laughs> Look at how I'm just like patting myself on the back. Um, no, but I was insecure about this build and now looking at it, I think I like it a little better. Then her cute little bedroom. Not much to say. <laughs> if you noticed, there was a window here, but I just really loved this um, Realm of Magic uh, artwork above the bed. I thought it was absolutely perfect and actually the wood tones kind of match. So I decided to get rid of the window and um, put that artwork, but yeah. Then if we go outside, she has a little garden area. And I mean, if she wanted to, she could expand her garden as she maybe develops her skill. But 
that's pretty much it. Let's get out of here because I'm already getting a little sick. <laughs> but um, yeah, that is her cottage and I think it turned out okay. Um, I had a lot of fun building it. Like I said, I don't build all the time. If I do build, it's like renovations or things or taking lots already in the world and making them or like changing them up a little bit. Um, so it was really fun to build this from scratch and I hope you thought I did okay. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. So this is now the last video for cottage core and I think the next um, aesthetic challenge or aesthetic that we're going to tackle is dark academia because of course cottage core and dark academia I feel like oh they're talked about in the same conversation a lot of the time so we will make our sim in Cass and then we'll make their house so that should be really, really fun so if you're interested in that you can stick around um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys!